Okay, folks, here we are with another edition, special edition of Motor Mouth Podcast coming to you live from NADA 2016, right here from uh, Las Vegas on the convention floor. We've got Joey and Brad and... Uh, I gotta, I gotta do my opening now too. Oh, okay. So you, yeah. you, got yours you know what? There's no, room. There's opening. room for two. <laughs> so we're at Fuse News here, 2016 NAD. I'm Joey Little, the uh, social little man. We're doing two podcasts, videos at the same time. Uh, Motor Mouth is here, Brad and Flo, uh, and we're getting started. So we're actually doing two shows. Now we got our, both of our openings in. Is that what they mean by a simulcast, Joey, or is that something <laughs> I don't different? Know. Now? <laughs> That's not, I don't even know what that means. I've heard that so many times. I've, I've heard it, yeah. Spe- speaking of doing two shows, uh, these guys have actually two different products. You know, you got the Fusecast product, All right. you got the Auto Alert pro- product. And we use both of those that are dealing. It's kind of like that peanut butter chocolate commercial, you know, when you put yeah. two things, two we, good things together. I'm glad you guys said we had two products because um, a lot of people get confused because we have like a thousand products. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy, but you kind of lump them into two kind of categories. Yeah, right. You've got uh, uh, data mining, you know, on one side, and then you've got uh, customer experience management, um, customer uh, profiling, customer search on the other. You kind of get it. Yeah. You, know, you got the fuse and you got the uh, the alert. And so you, yeah, we oh, use yeah. them both. And you know, a big thing. You know that we use the Fusecast for is social media and yeah. awareness and and, and uh, reaching our customers. You know, not just bombarding them with specials and and, and car specials, but uh, sharing some news that's out there and trying to be the first one to provide that to them. And then we bombard them. Yeah, then we bombard. No, them. No, just kidding. You know, yeah, it's been really helped out. Uh, I did have a question for you, uh, Joey Bean, uh, the social media guru that you are. <laughs> Brad and I were kind of talking about, you know, the election, whatever your political affiliation, yeah. what Donald Trump has done, for example, with Twitter, you know, and of course, you know, with not spending the same campaign dollars and stuff, what a phenomenal, what dealer wouldn't love to have that type of success, you know, duplicated oh. with, with the things they do? What can a dealer do is my question to you. I was just talking to J.P. Miller from Paul Miller uh, Ford in Lexington, Kentucky yesterday about how Donald Trump, the branding that Donald Trump does through Twitter. Mm-hmm. How can dealers get that same exact kind of um, kickback? Yeah. Um, it, it's it's very it's really simple, but it's also very dangerous. Um, uh-huh. You got to be controversial. You got to not be PC. Yeah. And unfortunately, it's a, a, a lot of a lot of people don't want to do that. That's not unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's tough. Yeah. You can't it, really it take, It's a tough balance. You can't really take the fact that see you've got you've either got the Bernie mm-hmm. side. You know, you got some people out there are Bernie. You got Hillary, and then you got Trump. And you got Cruz. And it's just crazy how it makes everybody else so nutty, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I personally think, and I don't know if you guys saw this press release yesterday, but you remember Andrew WK? When we like to party, we will party hard. He sang a song. It was a couple of years ago. It was like, uh, I forget what it was called, but he just filed for the party party. Oh, that's wow. the name of his party. And yeah. I think that's where dealers need to be. Oh, uh-huh, they need to be yeah. in that party party, right? right? You need to embrace, even if, if you are a hardcore conservative mm-hmm. or a hardcore liberal or a social democrat, you got to embrace both sides, gotcha. right? So, and you got to be controversial across both sides. So like are you saying that we need yeah, that philosophy. we need that rival dealership in your market to, to to throw out there and to feed off of each other? You know, are you I just don't think like you should that? be. So what I get told, the way it comes down here, is like with Fuse Cash, you've got employees at your dealership using Fuse Cash, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. And they they are posting to Facebook every day, sales, service, tech. I mean, office, BDC. And a lot of GMs and DPs, they get worried because they have that one guy maybe on the sales team yeah. that sells 20 plus, you know, 25 cards a month, but they also has a lot of pictures on his on his uh, Facebook where he's maybe smoking a little bit of thing he does, shouldn't be smoking, uh-huh. yeah. and girls and stuff. Here's the thing, there's a market for that. There's a market for everybody out there, and I think dealerships pigeonhole themselves into a situation where they're afraid to get out of, you know, Get across just like your employees are and market to everybody. So, so yeah, be controversial. Well, those vanilla posts, they don't get shared. No. They don't get retweeted no. and stuff like that. And, you know, people people tend to hang around other people that have the same interests, uh-huh. yeah. you know? So if you're in That's that market, said. you know what I mean? So, you, got a, you got a hardcore conservative working at the dealership. They're, they have hardcore conservative friends. That, uh, and when we talk about controversy, and I'll tell you a prime example on the vendor side, when it came to something that was controversial was Alan Dickey. You guys follow Alan Dickey, who's a, a, a consultant up in Canada, known as the Canadian Closer. Right. Uh-huh. He made a video, and it was basically, hey, get out of the car business while you can. He was talking about all these salespeople that are out there, and he said a majority across Canada and America that don't give 100% effort at the store, right? Uh-huh. Don't follow up, don't don't put their notes in the CRM, don't make the phone calls. And he's like, you know what? Get out of the car business oh, because wow. of us, now we that's... want, we need those ups, we're gonna sell, we're gonna do that, you're not doing anything to, and it was a very controversial, like calling out 
salespeople like, hey, get off your butt. Wow. And, but and, I got, bet that got shared about, and viewed. About a quarter million, quarter oh million views now on that That's video. Great, yeah. so, so what do you think, you know, you, you hear a lot of people out there like um, Gary Vee and, oh, yeah. you know, a lot of guys like that talking about, you know, jumping on Snapchat, jumping on those things. You know, Are you, you a think Gary Vee fan? I love Gary Vee. I just got to tell you, and I'm sorry to interrupt, Brad, but can you tell Brad that he doesn't have to listen to Gary Vee on volume eight and uh, nine all the time? You don't have to. And yeah. One thing I just don't, I, 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 I with Gary Vee that I, I think that a lot of people need to know is that guy. Here that, comes the controversy, folks. That guy does not stop. So uh -huh. a lot of people watching Gary V, they think, oh my God, I can do Snapchat, I can do Instagram, I can, and he's uh -huh. got a team behind him too. Right. And so you get a lot of people that will try to do that and two weeks later completely fizzle out. Because right. oh, yeah. it's so much work, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, he pushes out a lot of content, a lot of, a lot of great content, a lot. you know, it has a, has a lot of different ways of reaching out. But I, th I think, you know, that's a big thing that we need to embrace is we have to embrace technology yeah. as it comes up. You know, you know, and you write a you write a blog going what's going on in social media each week. Weekly you thing, know? yeah. And so I enjoy that. I love that and blog. So, always, and so we, we, we love it because you know if we don't know it, we go to the, that's our right. resource. Mm -hmm. So it's um, you got it. I believe in this uh, this phrase. It's kaizen. It's an Asian term. Always um, a constant improvement or continuous right. improvement. Yeah, I Toyota, believe, yeah. Toyota did. Uh, I speak uh, a little Japanese. Absolutely. Do you? Yeah. So it's, yeah. A, it's like a river. If a river stops flowing, it just stays stagnant. But if a river keeps flowing, it, oh, it'll yeah. make new paths and make new tributaries, whatever the word is, tributaries. Uh -huh. um, yep. And I believe wholeheartedly in Kaizen. I mean, you would have. This, what we're doing right now, didn't exist 10 years ago. Yeah, right? that's absolutely right. You would not mm -hmm. be broadcasting. Um, at a NAD, it oh. just would not be happening. And so, but we've taught ourselves and we move constantly. And now look at us now. We got two podcasts, two video series wow. going on at the exact same time. Two, right? two separate <laughs> demographics of people, That's you true. know, two separate audiences. Right. But they're all going to get the content. You know? Absolutely. So. I'm, I'm just glad that dealers can be cutting edge without having to give away things, uh, build a wall, or have an email server in the basement. I mean, it, it's pretty neat that, that there are other options out there for us. Yeah. There needs to be. And it's going, but it's going very slowly. I think that adoption to um, the way, we've looked at branding so different now than we did then, uh -huh. but a lot of dealers have, have not really taken into that new branding way. The, and, and I'm confusing myself here. Talking about the culture of the dealership, when you see a commercial for a dealership, especially in my area in the Midwest in Kansas City, they talk about three things. They talk about most inventory, right? Mm -hmm. Lowest prices and we're not going to screw you, right? right? And they usually have the GM or the DP do the commercial because uh, you buy from a person, not from a company. Right. Well, they've been doing that for years and years and years. Why aren't we using the employees? Why aren't we using social media oh, to get yeah. that out there? Well, right. the, the culture That's is, great it's advice. not just the GM. I'm not going to deal with you when I come in to get my oil changed. Well, you know? you take it there's a so different, many stories. Go ahead, yeah. Brian. You take it a different route. You know, you can you can empower your your people at the dealership to build a personal brand, you know? Absolutely. I, I mean, that's you see guys like Mac Davenport, you see a lot of people out there like that that build their personal brand and take take pride in their absolutely in, in their personal brand and I think that's important that you can empower your salesmen and your employees to do that it's what you, so my grandfather um, had a construction company it's still, it's still around he's, he's passed away but um, my grandfather used to be belong he used to belong to the Kiwanis Club the Moose Lodge right uh -huh. he used to uh, encourage you know my uncles who were like the foreman for the construction company to go down to the taverns and have a couple of drinks and hand out some cards and stuff they were branding. They were, oh, you know, yeah, they yeah. were personally branding themselves. And that was twittering back then. That was twittering back then, right? <laughs> and it was. It's just. It's. It's nuts that we forget. And we're trying to do it here at Auto Alert. We. Um, uh, we you got to get your employees involved. You got to get the personality of your employees out there. You've got the culture of the dealership is not the GM and the or the DP and his grandfather and his. But you know, uh -huh. that's that's right. part of it. The other part is the. 160, the 150, 300 employees that are there. Right. And I think we forget about it. It was something we do here at Auto Alert um, that I think is unique, and we picked it up outside the industry. Is that so? You know, we're all podcasting right now. Mm -hmm. We actually are getting ready to launch our own internal podcast. So a podcast only for our employees. Wow. Right. So we, we it's market. like Inception, a dream within a exactly, dream. Exactly. Podcast man. within a podcast. Well, you know, we market all the time. Why mm -hmm. aren't we marketing to our own employees? And oh, on top sense. of that, you know, we, we spend a lot of hours in the dealership. We spend a lot of hours working. So yeah. you, you kind of got to get filled up every once in a while. You know, oh, yeah. you put everything out there. You. You have customer service, you help customers, but sometimes you need to refill, you know? Absolutely. So, you know, I mean, Joey, before this uh, type of uh, technology that we had, like we have 150 employees uh, between the auto group there in Amarillo, and you know, Brad's a, a hunter. He, you yeah. know, he, 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 does all, he has all these hobbies. I mean, at lunchtime, he goes out and 
and kills something and comes back and, and does it. I mean, people don't know that, you know? And there was no way previous to that, I mean, right. that, that, that it could get out there. So now the hunters can do that. Brad's been great about getting the mil matching up the military customers yeah. with uh, people in the military. Just a natural fit. And, uh, you know, I commend Brad hey, on that. The last car I bought was from a guy that was uh, a part of my nonprofit because I knew there you him. Go. I just knew uh -huh, him and I knew yeah. about his life. And he sold cars, right? There you and go. So, I mean, I know, I mean, how many car dealers do I know in this? I mean, you guys right. probably, uh -huh. I could buy cars from you. Like, I know so many dealers, yeah, yeah. but I picked him because I, was, I knew him, I knew what his passions were, I knew what he oh, was, yeah. and I knew he was a guy that I could trust, and that's and, who I, I purchased and from. And you know, I mean, we, we take that same philosophy, you know, it's all about serving people. Yeah. It's all about serving other people, mm -hmm. so, you know, we, we, we have a monthly sponsor to different charities, so we focus that's on cool. that, so we just, get, we just did Make-A-Wish, the yeah. little girl to Orlando. Uh, they, she just that, had the send off uh, this yeah, week, huh? Just That's had the cool. send off. Had 140 people show up to the dealership, wow. that was and most of them had never been there before. Uh, they they painted a beetle, yeah. all different colors. We we put it in the mall. You know, the Make Wish kids painted the beetle. So we we do that every month, all different sorts of things. You we know, did it for Easter, and it was an Easter egg uh, beetle. So yeah. we'll, we'll put oh. some photos of how that. Does that was great. How does your DP? How do, it, how do they embrace the digital side of what you're doing, the social side of what you're doing? These events and getting them out there and doing what you do. Well, he, do you have a progressive DP or do he, you just kind of He's do great. It? I mean, yeah. this is this, the podcast yeah. is named after him. You yeah. know, he, he's on it all the time, you know, and, and he, we really embrace embrace the digital side of things. Right. You know, we try to be the most innovative, do, you know, go into different things that most people don't want to go into right but you know that most people watch well you, you know? i think you guys are in a very lucky situation we were we were uh, talking about yesterday you guys i think are in the top 10 progressive type what what's going on in automotive with your i appreciate you, know, you know what that yeah. means to us yeah. top coming from joey yeah. <laughs> can we rewind that and uh, yeah spread we, that out i think there's just I, I i want to take what you guys have the dynamic you have and just put it in dealerships That's across great. the country you imagine just like the awesome. well what happened oh yeah just it because it's not it's not just about moving metal. I mean, that's no. the final mm -hmm. kind of, because uh, you got to have money to keep the lights on. Sure, sure. You got to have your fix has got to be busy, have yeah. the lights on. But, it's but why not have fun along the way? But, Maybe. you know, you can't teach, you, can, you can't teach people to love people or to help no. people. But you can teach anybody to sell a car. You can teach anybody to fix a car. Yeah. But you can't teach people to, to have a heart for helping other people. It's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, culture, branding, yeah. it all Absolutely. works together. What do, you think, what do you guys think of our booth? Oh, oh man, booth awesome. is phenomenal. <laughs> you know, up here on the platform, you can see everything behind us. You know, you got Chevrolet. You got. Yeah. You guys you know, watch College Game Day? Oh yeah. yeah. This oh, yeah. kind of is uh, that Lee Corso yeah. kind of College Game Day uh -huh. feel. Are you, you gonna like speed. pull a hat out? I know, from up here, right? You know, and my like, pencils and stuff. Like, yeah. They, but you know what? You also street. have, yes. you know, if the lights were a little dimmer, you, you got the leather couches, you got the pretty ladies. I mean, yeah. you know, it's kind of the, you got, the, you know, that's all yeah. this. It's kind of the yeah. club feel, you know? Yeah, hey, kind of like yeah. that. Hey, speaking of that, uh, you know, Flo, Flo did a little karaoke last night at Dino's. I already knocked it out. Yeah. Oh, man, it was, it was a great time. I did a little Rebel Rebel and uh, did, uh, of course, uh, Elvis, don't be cruel. You got you got to go to the you know. When you're the, in Vegas. I, you got to do all that. Well, yeah. and I had done a little study of the demographics too of the audience. Okay, yeah. these people know Elvis. I got you know. So you know, there's a little bit of a um, guerrilla marketing that goes behind. <laughs> yeah. You don't just grab the mic so and that sing. Means that party started at 11 o'clock, so that means, uh, yeah. and it was over at four. At four-ish, uh, yeah. Three a.m. is when <laughs> right. we got back. You know. You know, yeah. I haven't I've, I haven't gone to bed after. 11.30 all week. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. All week. I've made it to bed early. Speaking of uh, karaoke, uh, yeah. with the voice there, you, you've done a little uh, MCN at some clubs and... Uh, I did. Like, I, was, uh, you know? I was a club DJ for six years. Uh-huh. And then uh, I was a uh, rock radio DJ morning show host uh -huh. on uh, Topeka's Rock Leader V100. I was Joey Bags on the morning show and I was the bus driver. And that's why we're doing this, why we have our own Fuse News, our, our CEO knew about my background and, oh, and so we're, what we're doing is we're taking like what you guys are doing taking broadcasting social uh -huh. mixing it together and, and we created fuse news right that's, so that's great but yeah i needed one thing with the radio thing if yeah. if if this was the show yeah the motor mouth morning show you know how would you inter yeah. introduce it yeah the motor mouth morning show all right so we uh what we would do then, we would say... Oh, and, and, and there was kind of a good morning Amarillo kind of a thing, all right? Yeah. Good morning Amarillo. It's the Motor Mouth Morning Show. No, Morning Show. Is it Morning Show? What it, is it? It would be. It's just Motor and yeah. Motor and Mouth Mo yeah. Podcast. Motor Mouth Podcast. Motor Mouth Podcast. All right, let's do it again. <clears throat> Take Live two. from Amarillo, it's the Motor Mouth Podcast. Is that good? Oh, Here that's go. it. That's what we want. You can use that now as a, uh, as a loop. Yeah. So I get I get told all the time because I have that the other voice that you can use that for either good or for evil. 
It is Vegas. <laughs> it is Vegas. No, but it's, uh, you guys having a good time? Oh, yeah. Great time. What's great the, time. What's, what's next for you guys? Back to the uh, store. Back to the do store. Some shows. I'm thinking like a nap. Are you guys going to Women in Automotive? <laughs> Um, they didn't let us in. <laughs> didn't no, you, they did yeah. not let us in. Yeah. It's, it's coming up in June. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to go to Women in Automotive? You know, we're, you know, we, we're, it we're doesn't go, go it doesn't go over well with the spouses and the missus, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, honey, I'm going to, uh, you know. You should take them with you. Ah, there, yeah. you, Orlando. there you go. Yeah, we're, I think we're gonna out there. What, what we're looking at is the Northeast uh, digital, deal, digital, digital dealer. dealer. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, Philly, yeah. That, that's what's coming up for us too. So we're excited they about just, that. They, they asked us to come up there and speak and do some, do a couple things. So. I do like your nap, even though I've been I've been to bed early pretty much all week. I'm still worn out. Well, they've got some nap pods here too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I think those are called toilet stalls. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. That explains. You go and sit down and sleep. It, it ended up saying, yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 I, I couldn't figure out who to give the tip to. Yeah, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. I ended up with it hot and cold on my on my thing. So yeah. how's the store doing? It's How you great. Guys doing? doing well. Phenomenal month. Volkswagen yeah. Yeah. Uh, record month. So 51 new Volkswagens. You Let know? me ask you on uh, on the Scion thing. Um, so Toyota Toyota's absorbing Scion. Is that how it's going? Yeah, down they're there? they're gonna. I like the them. way you phrase that. What's that? Absorbing it. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like mm, we're gonna like uh, Mercury. You know, like that. Yeah. yeah. I was just my uh, my neighbor lives right across the street. He's a Toyota rep for Kansas. Yeah. He won't give me any news. He won't tell me what's going on. So just well, it's not like Scion. The product's still gonna be there. It's just gonna be rebranded as a right. Toyota product. Yeah. Exactly. Will I still be able to see X8 or uh, XBs going around on the? Are they gonna get rid uh, of some of the models? I don't think that one's getting absorbed. No, I don't. That's think gone. So. Yeah. So and I've got uh, my uh, FRS too, so I'm kind of you know yeah. following so it as well. I think they're keeping the IA and. Uh, the Possibly I am. The I am. I think. Oh, what was the little tiny one? The little, uh, the one that uh, only I would fit. Oh in. yeah, yeah. It was like a, I saw it at any. Yeah, it looks like, like a Matchbox ago. car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the IQ. Like, the IQ. IQ. That's IQ. right. Yeah. yeah. So cool. Hey guys, thanks for coming on. I appreciate. Well, this. thank you awesome. so much, Joey. Yeah, this right. is a, shows an honor. Yeah, yeah, two shows. Thanks, buddy. So thanks for the. I'll give you guys. You guys do your outro after mine. Two shows, half the fat. You do. I'm my outro to yours. Motor All right, is done. They're out of here. Uh, you got one more interview. Anything else going on today? Or are you guys wrapping uh, up? Oh yeah, Brent. Brent Weiss. Oh yeah, right. Brent Weiss. Tell there the Canadian go. guys that. And that wraps yeah. it up for another Fuse News. Join us next time with Joey. Thank you, man.